stop scrolling. The diesel truck industry is about to lose $70,000 per year per truck, and they are completely unprepared. This is the Tesla Semi Gen 2, and it's not a truck. It's a financial weapon designed to crush the operational costs of every diesel rig on the road. It hits 60 miles per hour fully loaded faster than your SUV accelerates empty, and it is built with a battery that is literally a structural part of the chassis. For the next 20 minutes, we are exposing the technology, the economics, and the infrastructure that proves Elon Musk's goal isn't to build a better truck, it's to end diesel freight entirely. You're about to see the numbers that make the traditional trucking industry obsolete. And if you are already excited by the scale of this disruption, hit that like button right now and join the Dravexa channel. We are tracking the future and it moves fast. Imagine you are a fleet manager and a vehicle promises you a 50% cut in your biggest expense. That vehicle is real. That vehicle is here. And we are starting our deep dive right now. When you see the Tesla Semi Gen 2 for the first time, the first thought that comes to mind is, is this a truck or a spaceship from the future? Its exterior has been made so sleek and smooth that it seems as if it will move floating in the air. This was Elon Musk's aim to make a truck that not only looks amazing, but can also run with minimum resistance while cutting through the air. New design of Tesla's Semi Gen 2 is completely aerodynamic. Its structure has been designed in such a way that the truck is least affected by the wind. In a gas-guzzling diesel truck, wind resistance kills efficiency. In an EV, it kills range. You might think that streamlining a box on wheels doesn't do much, but at highway speeds, aerodynamics account for over 50% of the energy consumed by a diesel truck. By reducing drag below that of even some high-performance sports cars, the Semi Gen 2 maximizes battery consumption and delivers more crucial range. The lack of a massive diesel engine meant Tesla could eliminate the traditional boxy nose, achieving a CD coefficient of drag figure that is genuinely disruptive. This smooth, almost frictionless exterior is the first step toward the 1,000-kilometer range promise. But the question is, the outside beauty is fine. What has changed inside? This is where the driver's revolution starts, inside the cab. First, let's talk about the driving position. Where in normal trucks, the driver's seat is on the left or right side, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 has a driving seat in the center. Imagine you are sitting in the absolute best seat in the house, full command, equal visibility, eliminating the traditional blind side entirely. Apart from this, you get two large touchscreen displays in the front, similar to the Model 3 and Y, but used in a more advanced way. One screen handles data like GPS, charge status, and vehicle diagnostics. The other handles crucial driving input, replacing traditional mirrors with high-definition camera feeds, blind spot monitoring, and autopilot controls. You, the driver, are no longer fighting with small gauges and manual levers. Everything is on the screen in a very user-friendly way. Now let's talk about comfort. The driver's seat has been made so comfortable that fatigue is reduced even during long journeys. It features lumbar support, a good suspension seat, and technology to keep the entire cabin vibration-free and silent. Truckers know that every shock in a diesel rig goes straight to the spine, and the constant roar of the engine causes immense fatigue. The semi has made the entire operation quiet and smooth. This is why Elon Musk calls it the driver's second home. The new cabin design also includes a small standing space where the driver can stretch or relax. Everything is practical and thoughtful. Remember to subscribe to Dravexa for more in-depth analyses like this one. To truly grasp the technological leap of the Gen 2, we must look at how the 4680 battery cells are integrated. Tesla isn't just bolting a battery under the cab, they are using a structural battery pack. This is an idea borrowed from aerospace engineering, where the structure holding the fuel is also part of the airframe, 
it's that revolutionary. This means the battery cells themselves, along with the housing, form a load-bearing part of the truck's chassis. This revolutionary design accomplishes three critical things simultaneously. Mass reduction. It removes redundant structural material, significantly reducing the overall weight of the truck, allowing more precious weight for your cargo, a vital calculation when dealing with the 80,000-pound limit. Every pound of weight saved in the chassis is a pound added to the payload capacity, directly impacting a fleet's bottom line. Rigidity. It adds immense torsional stiffness to the entire chassis, fundamentally improving handling and stability, key for an 80,000-pound vehicle. This means less chassis flex, better wear on tires, and a tighter driving experience. Low center of gravity, COG. By spreading the enormous weight of the battery low and centrally, it ensures the center of mass is close to the ground, confirming Tesla's claim that the semi is virtually impossible to roll over. You might think heavy trucks are inherently unstable, especially when cornering or making evasive maneuvers, but this technology changes the rules of physics for freight. The low COG makes it behave more like a sports car than a conventional semi. But let's zoom in on the 4680 cell itself. The name literally refers to its dimensions, 46 millimeters in diameter by 80 millimeters long. This larger cell size offers two major advantages over Tesla's previous batteries, higher energy density and a tabless design. The tabless design is an engineering masterstroke. By eliminating the small internal tabs that carry the current, the path for the electron flow is dramatically shortened. This cuts down on internal resistance and crucially reduces heat generation. Less heat means faster charging is safer and the battery pack can be managed more efficiently. Imagine you are in a major side impact accident. In a conventional semi, the cabin is vulnerable. In the Tesla semi, the structural battery pack acts as a massive, rigid, energy-absorbing side sill structure that resists cabin intrusion, protecting the driver and the battery cells simultaneously. It's a fundamental change in truck safety design that is literally built from the ground up. The 4680 cell is not just an energy source, it is the structural skeleton that makes the Semi Gen 2's performance, safety, and impressive range mathematically possible. If you appreciate this kind of deep technical breakdown, please remember to subscribe to Dravexa and hit the like button. This structural leap is what unlocks the entire economic advantage we are discussing. Now, let's get down to the brass tacks. Tesla Semi versus traditional diesel trucks. Who is better than who? 1. Load Capacity The limit in the U.S. is 80,000 pounds gross combined weight. Tesla has managed the battery weight cleverly, achieving a light body and smart design, meaning the Semi can carry the same weight as a diesel truck. They have to be smart because the battery is heavy, but their structural design solves this balance brilliantly. 2. Torque and Power This is where Tesla Gen 2 wins straight away. Tesla has installed three independent electric motors that give full torque from the very start. On the other hand, torque builds slowly in diesel trucks. The semi can reach 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds with full loading. This figure is many times faster than a diesel truck. Imagine you need to merge onto a highway ramp. This instant power is not just about speed, it's a huge safety advantage. Also, there is no gear shifting in the electric motor, which also maintains smoothness and less wear. 3. Range The biggest question the diesel truck can easily give a range of 1,500 to 1,800 kilometers on a full tank. That is a lot. The Tesla Semi Gen 2, according to the latest information, has a range of up to 600 plus miles, or around 1,000 kilometers. The diesel truck is still ahead in terms of range for extremely long, continuous routes. But remember, this gap is closing fast, and Tesla is attacking it from two sides better battery tech, and a revolutionary charging network. If you find this comparison valuable, smash that like button now. 
the biggest logistical question about a heavy EV is, how will such a large battery be charged? With a battery capacity estimated around 800 to 1,000 kilowatt hours, Tesla's answer is the Mega Charger. This is Tesla's most powerful charging tech to date, a 1 megawatt MW system that can charge the semi up to about 70% in just 30 minutes. That 30-minute window perfectly aligns with mandated driver rest breaks, turning downtime into operational time. You might think this rapid charge generates a lot of heat, but the Mega Charger uses a special liquid-cooled cable system to manage the massive power transfer safely and efficiently. Mega Chargers are being strategically built on key highway corridors and at major logistics hubs like PepsiCo's facilities. Now, let's return to the number that started this whole video, operational cost. This is the one area where the Tesla Semi completely outperforms diesel. Tesla claims an operator saves about $70,000 per year on running the Semi. This includes fuel. Diesel trucks spend about $1.51 per mile. The Tesla Semi spends around $0.50 cents to $1 per mile. Maintenance. No engine oil changes, no transmission tensions, no frequent engine service, and significantly less brake wear thanks to regenerative braking. Imagine you eliminate engine overhauls and transmission failures from your budget entirely. This savings profile means that any premium paid for the Semi is recouped in just two to three years. After that, it becomes a literal profit machine, exactly as Elon Musk intended. When the Semi was introduced, the target prices were $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version. Even at a slight increase for the 600-plus mile Gen 2, the multi-year savings make this truck a financial no-brainer for major fleets like Walmart and PepsiCo. Tesla is committing to mass production at the Giga Nevada factory starting in 2026, backed by a $3.6 billion investment. This confirms the Semi is not just a limited edition vehicle, it is the future of their freight strategy. But is the Tesla Semi really beneficial for the environment, or is it just a show-off? The truth is simple. When the semi is on the road, it is 100% zero emission. No CO2, no NOx, and no particulate matter. That means cleaner air in cities and silent operation. But the environmental truth runs deeper. Tesla is focused on the entire life cycle. Batteries are being made with more sustainable, lower cobalt materials. Factories like Giga Nevada and Texas operate on renewable energy. Recycling. Tesla has promised to fully recycle every old battery, reusing the materials to reduce the need for mining. You might think EV batteries are a waste problem, but Tesla is aiming for a closed-loop system. So if someone asks, is the Tesla Semi really green? The answer is yes, because the entire idea, technology, and supply chain behind it are designed with the environment in mind. The diesel truck still holds the edge in remote range, but let's be absolutely clear, that is the last domino left to fall. From instant torque that masters any mountain grade to the environmental zero emission promise and the revolutionary structural battery, the Tesla Semi Gen 2 is an earth-shaking option. But this is the only number that matters, $70,000 in savings per truck per year. This isn't just about going green, this is about fleet operators choosing profit over tradition. As the mega charger network grows and as battery energy density continues its relentless march forward, that range gap will disappear entirely, making the diesel engine mathematically and financially irrelevant. Elon Musk is very clear. Tesla Semi is not just a truck. It's the mandatory future of freight. You might think this transition is slow, but the early movers, the Pepsis and the Walmarts are already seizing the financial high ground. When this shift hits critical mass, it will happen almost overnight. The future of the supply chain is no longer theoretical. The road to the future of freight isn't paved, it's electrified, and it's $70,000 cheaper. Now, the choice is yours. If you believe this technology is going to change the industry, if you found that $70,000 figure as compelling as we do, don't just close the video. 
Hit the like button right now to tell YouTube this financial deep dive is worth sharing. Subscribe to Drevex with notifications turned on. We track the disruptive technologies before they become mainstream, ensuring you are always ahead of the curve. Leave a comment. Do you think the savings are enough to overcome the initial purchase price, or is the range still too big a hurdle? Let us know below. Thank you for tuning in to Dravixa. See you again in the next video where we continue to explore the future. Until then, stay charged, stay curious.